Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend to you. Um, I have another huge <laughs> Dollar Tree haul full of fall and brand new Halloween finds and some new Crafter Square items. So, as always, y'all know I'm so excited to share everything with you. So, as always, I love to start my hauls with my most favorite thing. And let me say, Dollar Tree is knocking it out of the park this year. Because wait until you see. Y'all, these are glass. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to break them. Look at these new, like, um, potion bottles. I love them. I decorate with this kind of stuff because I love like hocus pocus and decorating with uh, like potion bottles and like witch's brew, that kind of stuff. Look at this one. So, okay, I got three of them. All right, first one is the white and it's got this black, look at that black topper. So it's a bat, but it could almost be like a gargoyle in a way, gargoyle in a way, but it's supposed to be a bat. Look at that. How amazing. And then you've got the little black bats. Now, it is glued on here. Like, this does not open. And I don't want to, like, try to make it because, like I said, it's, it's ceramic. So this could break. But I got the white one. I got this orange one that says Happy Halloween with the jack-o'-lanterns and a witch's hat. This just has, like, a finial, like, the top. This is, like, a, like a ball top to it. But look at that. Look at those jack-o'-lanterns. How awesome would this be if you could put like some fairy lights down inside of it and make it like light up? But if you hear that, there is something broke, but like I said, it's sealed. Like this is glued and I don't want to keep messing with it. So I don't know what's broke inside of it. But that one right there. And then this purple one has like the skull on it and almost like the day of the dead. See like that sugar, um, the sugar skull right there. But look at that, that topper. Look at that skull. These are amazing. I love them. Okay, so got those. Um, that's the only three that I found. And my store had them. And it's the only three that I found. I don't know if there's more out there. So if you know, let us know. Because a green one would be great. Because, look at this. Look at this sign. I love it. Um, welcome, but it's the potion bottles. And you see the white and the purple. Let's see, they have a green where I found an orange bottle. So I don't know if there's a green bottle to kind of match. But look at this sign right here. And it's a hanger. It's got the little black satin, little ribbon to it. How cute would this be? You can hang it up, but you could also like decorate with it. And then just have these potion bottles sitting around it. I love it. Um, they brought these back. So these, they've had these for a few years now. These little potion bottles. And they also had like a pink one. And there was one other color, which I didn't care much for those colors because I don't decorate with pinks for Halloween. So I just grabbed these two. So the black one, and it's got a cork, a little cork top that will come out. This says wool of bat magic, rehydrate bat's wool in warm milk. <laughs> It's got the little bat on there. And these are also like that glass ceramic. Then the orange one is zombie brew. Uh, fermented zombie toes and fingers, 1902. And you got like the hand coming out. <laughs> I love them. And then also like potion bottles. They brought this little sign. Look how cute this sign is. It says, pick your poison. And then you have three of these little hanging like potion bottles. All right, if I can get these to quit spinning around on me. So this one, the black, you got witch's brew, spider venom, and then like a beaker that says poison. These are great. Take these off here. Make you a cute little sign out of them. Put them on a tiered tray do like a picture frame or like a reverse canvas and put these in a center. You could do like some, um, you could do like some scrapbook paper, something like behind it. How cute, love them. 
Like I said, you do, you do not have to keep it like this. Just take it apart and make your own little thing. Okay, I found, look at these. It's like a, it's like an angry skeleton, but it's a candle. Look at that, look at that face. So I'm gonna, um, it's got batteries, so I'm gonna turn it on for you. And see, it lights up different colors. Uh, there's like a purple color, green, I don't know if you can really tell, blue, there's purple again, but how green is this? I could have two of these. These would be so cute, like on um, some candle holders, like some candlesticks, something like that. Now I prefer, I may take the colored little lights out of here and just put in clear lights. Cause I like just a white light better than like changing colors. But these would be so cute to decorate with, like that kind of like spooky vibe. They also had an orange pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern, but it, I just got the white skeletons. <laughs> I got me some more fuzzy socks. I love Dollar Tree fuzzy socks. These are the taller ones. Hey, look, it's like a zombie, or not a zombie. It's like a mummy. <laughs> and look at his little eyes popping out. I love, seriously, these fuzzy ones from Dollar Tree, they're my favorite. But these um, fit a size five to nine. I have a size nine foot. All I do is, I just kinda like stretch them a little bit, like the foot part, and they fit my big old foot just fine. So, got those. They had some new little candle holders. Look at these right here. How cute. This one's white with a little black, like dancing skeletons. Ah, look how cute this would be. Put your little candle down in here. Like you do like a real candle or just like a little LED candle. And I wish I had one, but all the batteries are dead in mine. And I didn't have a candle small enough to go in here. But how cute is this? So that one. And then this one almost has like that orange amber kind of look to it with spider webs. See the spider webs all over it? These are great. They brought back the little ceramic ghost from last year. Y'all, this is so nice. This is like something you would you would find like a little bigger version like in a TJ Maxx, like a Home Goods or at home. Look at that. Look how cute. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this on. It's got a little pull tab, I'm gonna pull the pull tab out. Now, these flash. So if you have problems with like a flashing light, I'm gonna turn them on right now. There we go. See? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Ooh, okay, yeah, I don't wanna mess anybody up. But it flashes different colors. So once again, I like it better with just like a clear light, just like a constant, just like a constant light because I can't do that flashing either. So, but I have like two of these from last year. So I just grabbed one more because these are so cute to decorate with. So nobody would know that you paid $1.25 for this right here. So cute. And um, I say this every time, everything in my haul is $1.25. So here in Louisville, Kentucky, all my stores are $1.25. I don't know of any of the bonus stores. So, but if you do, let me know that way I can check it out. So, but once again, everything's $1.25. That was a lot of rambling. <laughs> Alright, I found another brand new Halloween sign. I missed this one last time. Look at that. Okay, if you missed my other hauls, I found one that had a ghost and one with like a jack-o'-lantern on it. So, so if you missed that haul, like I've had two big hauls of nothing but Halloween. If you missed those, I'll link them down in the description box. But look at this one. So you got the um the little tin, like galvanized witch hat. So it says, Happy Halloween, please stop in for a spell. Look how cute these are. Once again, hang this up, it's great. Or take it apart, make your own little thing with it. Decorate with these right here. I love them. Um, a few years ago, we made a witch's broom using a hula skirt from Dollar Tree. Also, I will link that video because that turned out so cute, and I used Dollar Tree signs to decorate it. So, um, if I can find a picture, I'll post it right here for you. But take these off and like add these to like your broom, like a witch's broom. Right. 
I found these amazing garlands. Look at this right here. Look at this beautiful, glittery, crazy, like stem garland. I love this. It is four feet long and it's just a purple. Oh, and it's shedding. <laughs> it is shedding bad. So if you get this, spray it with some hairspray. Look at that. Look how great that is right there. So I got in the purple color and then I got this black one and I wish I would have got like two or three of this black one because you could make like a really like spooky wreath with it. Look at that. And just once again, look at the vines. See how like spooky that is? They also have like a reddish orange color, which I did not buy, but I'll post a picture for you because for what how, because I didn't know how I would use it where I love these two colors. I found some more of the little like Halloween like gift boxes, but they're so cute to decorate with. Look at that. Look at this right here. Look at the side of it. Love this. This, this is like the largest size. It says, have a spooky, creepy, frightful, ghoulish, happy Halloween. And then the tombstone says trick or treat. I love this one. And then this one is so cute because it's got the little trick-or-treating gnomes. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. This is, says, I'm um, trick-or-treating with my gnomies. <laughs> I love it. And one side has glitter on it, but the back side does not. So it depends on how you like to decorate. This one also has glitter on this side. And then this one does not have glitter. Get you some really like um like pretty like spooky kind of flowers and put down in here. That'd be so cute. Right. They brought back my favorite spiders. <laughs> I love these spiders because they're so cute and so fun to decorate with. And look how big these are. Look. Two hands. Look how cute. I love that they're not like creepy spooky. They're just really cute. Just that perfect little touch. And I add these to wreaths. So the Frankenstein wreath um, that we're gonna make, I make a really large Frankenstein wreath. I'm gonna add the spider to it. So I love this. And we're gonna make, and then I also got these large like spooky eyes. <laughs> um, it just says giant eyes. I picked this one right here. And it's a two pack, so you get two eyes. And look, it actually moves, it's googly. That. And then I got the um, I got the creepy cloth in this, this color right here. It also comes in black, but I want to make a mummy wreath. So that's, that's why I got the creepy cloth. I got the um, the googly eyes and then a spider to go on my mummy wreath. So if you're interested in like a really easy, cute little mummy wreath, get you some of this. Alright, let's move on to some new fall fans. Look at these beautiful little like vases. Um, it just says bottle, <laughs> but it's got this really pretty like little leaf finial. Look at that beautiful. Okay, I'm in front of the window. Look at a window right here. So it's kind of like bright. I don't know if you can tell. Look how pretty the coloring is of that. And it comes off. Well, <laughs> yeah. So that does, the little finial comes out. So you could use this as a really pretty little vase. So you kind of get this like this goatish kind of color. Then you have more like the orange. Look at that. See the difference in coloring? But once again, look how beautiful that color is right there. Like I said, just pop that out of there and put you some fall leaves in here, like a little wheat or something down in here. I love them. These are so pretty. See? Um, okay. Just to kind of give you like a size reference because I never have a roller. <laughs> but like, okay, look at my hand. And then look at the size of it. So just kind of gives you an idea of how big it is. I grabbed some um, fall leaves. I love these. I love the brown and the orange and that gold color. So pretty. And look, you get a pretty good amount on one stem. 
it's one stem right there. How pretty these are. And to like when you're de like um like when you're decorating like a tear tray or something, just pop you off a couple little heads of the leaves and tuck it into your tear tray. Because um you always want a little filler on a tear tray. So I got these, and these are great too if you're making a wreath. Add these to a wreath or any like flower arrangement. I mean you could like add just some fall leaves down in one of these and then like a couple like spooky flowers or something. They brought these back, and I love them. I'm so happy they brought them back. It is these um, sunflower steaks. <laughs> I can get them to turn around. Ooh, look at these. So they're tin, and they look so great outside. They look so great in your yard. Like I decorate with like um, corn stalks and hay bales for the fall, and these are so cute. Like popped in around them. Like I put them in our flower. I put them in our flower bed around the bushes. So I got me a few more that kind of like add to my collection. But they're probably at least two feet tall. Kind of give you an idea of how big they are. They're about two feet tall. Like I said, just kind of like pop them down into the yard. If you're in an apartment or a condo, put them down a planer, like on your little um, balcony or patio. But look, there's two different. But I'll show you, there's two different styles. Where you can like see the difference in them. I found the little velvet pumpkins. Look at that right there. Look at that beautiful color. I love it. It's like the color of my shirt. <laughs> but yeah, these are so nice. Uh, look, they're on the little alligator clip. So that way you can add it on to anything that you want. I love these. I love this color. So every year they do like the um, the farm truck, but this is like a different like pattern, different coloring. Look how cute. They did a little flag banner with some leaves. Look how cute, look at the leaves on a little clothespin. And you get the little flags. I love it. Um, the license plate says happy harvest and a little bit of glitter. But look at the sunflowers and the pumpkins. Look how pretty that is. This is so nice on a wreath. I found the fall cookie cutters. I already found Halloween. These are the fall ones. So this, you get a leaf, an upside down acorn. There's the acorn. And then you also get a squirrel. See, there's this little head. There's this big bushy tail. and come down to its little feet. So you get three cookie cutters for $1.25. These are so cute um, for your kitchen. Um, make you a cute little garland. You can make you a cute little garland with um, some twine, some little ribbon to it. You can put these into like a glass container, like a canister, and have them filled with um, cookie cutters. So those. This has three different leaves on it. So you see that one, that style, and then right there. And then this one has a leaf, a pumpkin, and a turkey. <laughs> There's your leaf. There's your little pumpkin. And then here is your turkey. So you got its little turkey head, its little beak, and then uh, like its feathers. I love this one, especially because of the turkey. And then speaking of like turkey, I found these little cupcake wrappers. And they have a turkey and like a pumpkin pie and acorns. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to see if you can see it. Look. Look how cute! I love it! Look at the little acorn, er, little turkey. There's your little pie. Little acorns kind of everywhere. I love this one. I feel like there's never enough, like, turkey decor. You know? Like growing up, I feel like that's what we decorated with. We did turkeys and like pilgrims and everything. But I grabbed some little like um sunflowers. You get a six count of these little sunflowers, and <laughs> they're all attached together, but they're on these little like wires. That way you can take them apart. You know what? Let me show you that real quick. 
All right, it's these little like paper sunflowers, but it's on this little um, like wire almost. So you can twist this and wrap it around anything. See? So this will stay wherever you put it. All right, I also found these really cute new candles. I love them. Look at these right here. They're little, they're candles, but they're like a, um, <laughs> I can't talk. It's a candle, but it's a leaf. Look at that. Look at this little leaf candle. Y'all, my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> wow, look at this right here. Okay, if you look at this side, look, right, see? It's a candle. Look at this side. It's almost like there's a bunch of different leaves like put together. It's not, it's just one candle. But look how pretty that is. Look at that. And look at the detail. Like you can like see the veins in everything on this candle. And it's so pretty. And once again, I love this color. So this like pumpkin orange. And then this one right here, I'm gonna open this up so you can see it. It's almost like, um, so this one right here, it's almost like a, I don't want to say mustard yellow, but it just has that, that warm yellowy kind of look to it. Look at that. Once again, look at the veins. Look at the veins on there. There's the side. It's all the way around. And you can decorate with these so pretty, like on a tear tray. Um, if you decorate your coffee table or something. Look how cute. Now, I personally, I'm probably not going to melt mine. Like, I probably won't, like, light them or anything. But I love it. I found some fall magnets, and they are so cute. Look at these right here. This one says, Welcome to our patch, and it's got the little pumpkins. Look how cute that is. I'm going to open this up because this is going on our refrigerator. All right, the whole back side. Look at that. Is that upsetting? Yeah. Look. Look how cute. And the whole back side of it is a magnet. So, I love that. And then this one, I'm going to open it. Look how cute this one is. Look at that. I love Buffalo Check. Um, Farm Fresh Pumpkins, 25 cents, open daily, free deliveries. And you got like the orange and like a really pretty like blue color. Pumpkins. Look how great. Once again, the back side is an, as a, the whole back of it is a magnet. I, y'all, Dollar Tree had name brand Nalabone for dogs. Look at this. So that, I was so shocked to find this. I got this for Bailey. Um, it's called Rompin' Chomp Treat Toy. Fill and freeze. What? It says, fill and freeze, keeps dogs entertained two times longer, safe, healthy chewing, made in the USA. Right there. I know a lot of people are like concerned with they give their animals, so this is made in the USA. Chicken flavor for moderate chewers and teething puppies, which Bailey really doesn't chew on things. Thank goodness. She loves her squeaky toys, but she doesn't like chew on things. Um... It says, one refillable, yummy, chicken-flavored treat included. But, and like it has instructions on the back how to do it. But Nalabone, that stuff you get at like Feeder Supply and all that. Pet Smarts. So, um, I'm curious if she would like this. Bailey, come here. You want this? Come here. <laughs> come here. Mama, look, you want that? Oh, <laughs> you want it? Here you go. <laughs> she don't want it. <laughs> I'll lay it down, maybe she'll take it. <laughs> She's like, what is this? <laughs> All right, I grabbed for us, y'all. Look at this. Look how big it is. Okay, I have always bought these cookies at Dollar Tree. 
It's the Little Dutch Made Lemon Cream Cookies because we all love them. Look how big the package is now. It was never this big. Now granted, it's been a few months since I bought them. Look at that. I wonder, I guess because, you know, they're $1.25 now, so maybe that's why they give you more cookies. <laughs> but they're so good. If you love lemon, you're gonna love these cookies. Right there. Um, seriously, it's 25 full ounces. You cannot beat this for $1.25. Oh, so good. Right. I also grabbed um, the 13 by 9 baking pan, and it comes with a lid. You. so it comes with a lid they have different color lids but seriously if you need a pan go to Dollar Tree for $1.25 because if you go to like Walmart or your grocery stores they're a lot more expensive so I need this for my taco dip <laughs> so our um, our famous taco dip so tomorrow will be in Saturday Louisville plays so like college football is on so we're going to family, so we're gonna take our taco dip to one of my brother-in-law's tomorrow. All right, I have a few brand new Crafter Square finds. Y'all, look at this. Look at this, it's called a, it's called a canvas bag. You can use this as a little purse or something if you wanted. Look at this, look at this long strap. It's got one zipper, so you put whatever you want down in there. This is also great for crafting. If you're someone, like when I'm filming, I stand up at our counter <laughs> and I lose stuff, but y'all don't see that because I edited it out. I could like slide my tape down in here. I could slide my scissors down in here while I'm standing there. You know, you could like do a little crossbody. Look how cute. Like I said, you could use this as a purse. Um, Dollar Tree has really cute like art on patches right now. You could add your patch to it. If you got a Cricut, you know, put whatever you want on here. But I just thought this little bag was great. I found it in black. Let's see, does it say how big it is? No. So I found it in black, and they also had just like this beige color, just like, I guess classic like canvas color. But once again, it's got the long strap. So you do a little crossbody if you wanted. Look, see that? But these are great, and if you're doing like um, fall festivals are starting, craft shows, if you're someone that does those, um, and you deal with cash, have this like going across your body to keep your money safe. Um, I have a lot of people that ask me about craft fairs. I haven't done one since 2020, but <laughs> I wore a fanny pack. I had a cute little fanny pack I would wear to keep all my money in, you know, because you don't ever want to like have your money like in a little container and walk away. You know, so you always gotta think of like, like a safe way, like hold on to your money. If you do like the little square, like on your phone, just keep up with everything. All right, my last two Crafter Square funds. Look, look at this. Look at this little sign. It's a chalkboard, but it's got the black and white gingham. And it's almost like a fabric. It's like a material back here, but that's a chalkboard. Look how cute this is. It's got the little hanger. You don't have to hang it. Um, you could use this. You could use this year round. But also fall, Thanksgiving, um, Halloween, Christmas, write whatever you want on here. So they had this shape and they also had it in this shape. So that, so side by side. Ah, I love them. These are so cute all right so that is it like i said um, if you missed the other halloween hauls i will link those down in the description box for you um also the witch's broom i'll link down for you i mean a few things i can put at the end of this video all you have to do is just click on it it'll take you right to the videos but, all right that is it i hope that you have a wonderful weekend to relax and take care of yourself and i will see y'all next time bye guys Thanks for watching.